Okay, so here's a problem from the end of chapter 12. So crystalline silicon's got a cubic structure, and you're told the length of the unit cell is 543 picometers, and the density is 2.33 grams per centimeter cubed. And the question is basically, in our unit cell, which I've just drawn, how many silicon atoms are in there? And um, so the cool thing about the cubic unit cells is that if we know the length of one side, we just have to cube it and we get the volume. So what else are we told in the problem? So we're told the density. The density is 2.33 grams per centimeter cubed. And the cool thing about density is it's intensive. So that means that the density of the cube is the same as the density of a giant cube of silicon, let's say. So we know density is mass over volume. And so that means that we can solve for the mass by taking the density and multiplying it by the volume. So how do we get the volume? Well, we cube the length. The length is 543 picometers, but notice it's in picometers, and our density deals with centimeters cubed. So that's probably a hint that we want to convert one or the other to the same unit. So let's convert picometers. I think that'll be easier. So 543 and picometers. And what do we know about pico? Well, pico is just code for 10 to the minus 12. Oops, let me erase that and start that over. Pico is code for 10 to the minus 12. And so that means a picometer is just another way to write 10 to the minus 12 of a meter. And look at our units. They're canceling out here and here. And we want to get it in centimeters, and so what do we know? We know centi means 10 to the minus 2, and so centimeter is just 10 to the minus 2 of a meter. And if we look at our units, they cancel, and we're left with centimeters. So we can probably do this in our head. Um, 10 to the minus 12 on top, and 10 to the minus 2 on the bottom, that's 10 to the minus 10. And actually, we can just go ahead and leave it like so. So let's move things over. So it's 543 times 10 to the minus 10 of a centimeter. So we want to get the volume, and we just have to cube that. Okay, so the volume then is the cube of that. And if you type that in on your calculator, you get 1.60 times 10 the minus 22 and now we've converted to units of cubic centimeters. So we want to find our mass and we know that mass is density times volume so to find the mass then we just take our density 2.33 grams over centimeters cubed and we multiply by the number of centimeters cubed above 10 to the minus 22 and so if we multiply those, um, we'll get the mass in grams. And so I make that 3.73 times 10 to the minus 22 of a gram. Cool. So that's the mass of the silicon. Uh, we don't want the mass of the silicon so much as the number of silicon atoms. So we can go right to our friend, the periodic table. Uh, the atomic number is 14, but... Of interest is the atomic mass, and that's 28.09. So that means that we can convert our grams into moles, and we know Avogadro's number, um, so we can convert moles into numbers of atoms. So we want the number of silicon atoms, so we need to convert our grams, 3.73 times 10 to the minus 22, into moles, so we know a mole of silicon atoms weighs 28.09 grams. But one more step, we have to go ahead and get that into atoms. And so we know a mole of anything, whether it be silicon or bananas or textbooks, is just 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of them. Just like a dozen is 12, no matter what. And if you put that into your calculator, you get 7.997 
which is basically eight. And so that means that there are eight atoms in our unit cell, which is the end of the problem.